Uh, I don't get the question. Pass, pass rush wise. Okay. Pressure wise. Yeah, we try to, you know, pressure him up the middle, get him out the pocket, uh, get him off the spot, and like I said, make him make some type of make him make mistakes. What was the, um, what was the uh, difference between how, how Tom was able to move the ball early as opposed to what you guys were able to get back into the game? Um, like I said, we just kept, step, kept consistent with our rush plan, uh, just kept chopping at it, and you know, finally starting to come out for us. Like I said, we just kept, you know, playing hard, keeping, you know, our foot to the pedal. Guys made plays, especially Tay. Good rush, got the ball out. Mike was there at the perfect time. And like I said, we just got to keep capitalizing off those type of plays and keep grinding. If you're without AJ for a little while, because of the concussion, what does that do defensively to the back? Um, don't really think about it too much. You know, it's next man up. Uh, we, trusted the guy, we trust the guy who's behind AJ. You know, it sucked that he went out like that, but, um, you know, he's, TJ still played tough, still flew around, and, you know, we appreciate him for that. Yeah, but he's got, I mean, listen, guys don't make some of the plays, like, like AJ, 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 the one yeah, yeah. he's injured on, like, you know, I think there has to be, there are there things that you guys have to compensate for, but maybe shift things because of that? Or? No, I mean, we're still going to play the same defense, and, like I said, next man up. He got away a couple scores late, but uh, what was it? What did it say about the unit that you all, when you all cut it to three, and uh, got it, you know, with a chance to try to, you know, pull the thing out? Um, like I said, we some fight, we fighting, you know, uh, always fighting until the clock hit zero zero. Uh, appreciate the guys for that, and like I said, we just gotta keep striving and keep getting better as the season go on. Um, like I said, we're a tough defense. We just got to keep stacking the plays, keep getting better as the season go on, uh, keep learning from Dean. Uh, he's doing a great job, you know, presenting this defense to us and making sure we're all on the same page for the, you know, for by the end of the week. And we just got to trust the process and keep grinding. Matt was talking about a moment ago how you guys, you know, had a lot of momentum there to get the ball back uh, down three points. They go three and out, mm -hmm. punt quickly, why was Tampa Bay able to make all those plays in a row there in the fourth quarter? Is it experience? Is it they've been in those situations? Um, I'll have to see the film, see what happened. But I mean, when we have those opportunities, we just got to take advantage of it and keep our foot on the pedal. Do you feel like you were able to take time off the spots at any point? Because the way those first couple of drives look, even the yeah, yeah. drive you forced the turnover, things changed after mm -hmm. the first three. Like I said, they're going to adjust. You know, we, we got to keep go, going with our rush plan. You know, we got them off the spot a few times. And like I said, we just got to capitalize when we do. And when we don't, you know, just stay on top and make them throw check downs. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Dean was talking during the week about limiting those, those big pass plays. And I think early there were a lot of those, like, 20-plus yard plays that they mm -hmm. kept stacking up. I mean, what's kind of the key to, to limiting those? Like I said, um, just trusting our coverage, uh, playing deep, making forcing check downs and getting a good rush.